Hello, and welcome to module two, where I will take you through connecting to the internet and browsing websites. At the end of module one, I showed you how to connect to the internet. Once connected, you can now access the World Wide Web using a browser. A web browser is the software that allows you to access the World Wide Web. Examples of browsers are Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Safari. While a browser is a piece of software that retrieves and displays web pages, a search engine is a website that helps people find web pages from other websites, example, Google. When you first open the web browser app, you're taken to the homepage. That may be the tablet manufacturer's homepage, the cellular provider's homepage, or a homepage you've set. For the Chrome app, you see the last page you viewed on the app, and you may see Google's main page. To visit a web page, type its address in the address box or a search word or phrase if you do not know the address. Touch the Go button to search the web or visit the page. Once done, the relevant website loads. You click links on a page by touching them with your finger. To reload a web page, touch the refresh icon. Refreshing updates a website that changes often, and the command can also be used to reload a web page that may not have completely loaded the first time. To stop a web page from loading, touch the stop icon that appears by the address box. Many websites feature special mobile editions, which automatically appear when you visit those sites using a device like the Android tablet. If you'd prefer not to automatically visit the mobile version of a website, touch the action overflow or menu icon and choose the command request desktop site. Browsing back and forth. To return to a web page, you can touch the back icon at the top of the screen. Touch the forward icon to go forward or to return to a page you were visiting before you touched back. To review web pages you've visited in the long term, visit the web browser's history page. In Chrome, choose History from the Action Overflow menu. Other web browser apps may show your web page history on the Bookmarks page. Choose Bookmarks from the Action Overflow menu and touch the History tab. To clear the history list in the Chrome app, touch the Clear Browsing Data button while viewing the web page history. Ensure that there is a check mark by the clear browsing history item and then tap the clear button. You may have multiple pages at the same time on your browser. Switch from one tab to another by clicking on it. Close a tab by pressing the X icon on the right side of the tab and add a new tab by pressing the plus symbol to the right of the last tab. Add a site to your favorites to return to that site without having to search for it in a search engine or type in its URL. Visit the site and click on the star. You'll find it in future in the list of favorites in the upper right corner. To access a site you have saved in your favorites, click on the list of favorites and then click on the name of the site you saved. When you are complete with browsing the internet, you can close the page. You must close your browser by clicking on the Home button and then select Quit. Congratulations on completing this module. Now that you can access the internet and search for information and websites, the next module will take you through setting up an email account and using its functionality.